A is for adventure. A is also for Afghanistan. Put the two together and this is what you get. We've just completed the first ever mountain bike tour of the Wakan Corridor, northeastern Afghanistan. If you're mad enough to try and do the same, here's what you need to know. Number one, Remember, the journey is just as important as the destination. around in the back of a jeep is exactly what adventure's about and here we are Sahat little village right at the end of the road we're about to start the ride up that pass and then the next 12 days we're going around there the little Pamir mountains right through the big Pamir around there 12 days later we descend down the backside you're gonna need some chums to ride with it's not a place to be out on your own hey, hey you all right how you doing Dan. Yeah, yeah, Dan. It's Matt. Yeah, isn't it? Milner, how are you, man? Matt. Hunter. Oh, yeah. yeah, what are you doing here? Just just riding my bike. Thought I might just go for a like 12 day 12 day trip. Do you want to come along? Right, I'll see why we're winning. Okay. Right. Yeah, well, see Thanks. you later. This is it, day one. Over there, the peak in the background. That's Pakistan. Bit of riding, bit of pushing, bit of riding. Get used to this altitude. What's keeping me going is the idea of chips at the top. See what's for dinner? Chips. Go on. You'll also need the ability to sleep pretty much anywhere, under any conditions. The well, pitter-patter you can hear is uh, the dulcet tone of uh, snow falling on the tent. Made it to uh, camp on day five, just in time to uh, dodge this big snowstorm that swirled in out of nowhere. But ironic, really, just inside my sleeping bag here, I've got sunburnt knees. So one of the things you need in the Wacken is shorts that dry quickly. This is our camp spot, about 5k short of where we wanted to be today for one good reason. The river we got to cross is way too high. It's 10 past 5 in the morning and I've had a quick look at the river. The river's actually risen a few inches. At least got a chance to wash our feet. That's something that's starting to become a bit of an issue anyway. Maybe if we can get a river crossing up to about here, that will solve a lot of problems. You'll also need a good understanding of the local language. I think I can just make out the word cafe there. And uh, I think it basically says the cafe is only open in the month of July. They should sort that out really, because we're here in June. 3.30 in the morning, and we're packing up camp. It's minus five, and we've got to leave this early. The snow's a lot harder, and the horses don't struggle so much. We're at 4,877 meters. 4 a.m. start. 4,800 meter pass again. So we tried to get across the pass. The horses didn't make it. We had to turn back. Sent them to the glue factory. Now, if you think of a donkey as the Fiat Panda 4x4, horse maybe the BMW X5, the Yak 
is really the ultimate. It's the Land Rover. It's the, it's the thing for off-roading around here. Just over two hours to get up here. Good bit is, plenty of all downhill. Well, I guess uh, an Afghan soldier rides off on your bike and he's got a semi-automatic on his back. You don't really uh, try and get it back. I'm sure it'll come back at some, some point.